Hello everybody, Matteo here again and I welcome you in my RC garage to the 5th video of my Axial S6103 build series. The chassis is nearly done and the next part is the installation of the electronics. Step G1 is the build of the battery tray. There are two options. It's possible to build a smaller tray for small batteries or a bigger one for standard sized batteries. I'm going to build the standard size tray to fit my 3S 4000 mAh LiPos. First I screw on the side plates. These end parts are adjustable and so it can be set to the size of the used battery and then tighten the screws. Then add the velcro band that holds the battery in place. Step G2 is the installation of the battery tray on the chassis. The standard tray comes here crosswise installed, fixed with two screws. Step G3 is the installation of the servos for switching the gear shift and dig function. I'm going to use the recommended Spectrum servos and I think this was a good decision. Surprisingly, the servo horns for the servo saver are included here by the servos and not in the kit of the truck. For me, something very strange. If someone like to use another type of servo, these parts will be missing. Another strange thing is the extremely short servo cable on these servos. For the installation, servo extension cables are necessary. So now I have all things connected to check if everything works. And also important is to get the servo neutral position before installing it. I use this button on my Futaba transmitter for the gear shift function. And this switch for the dig function. Now the servo for the gear shift can be installed. Then I install the servo horn and servo saver and screw it on. And it looks good, the gear shift works. The servo horn on the servo for the dig function is already installed and I can screw on this servo. And also the dig function works. To adjust a proper function of these two servos I have to use the EPA function to limit the servo wave for the third and fourth channel. Step G4 is the installation of the receiver and ESC. First we have to screw on the receiver box from underneath. But then, another problem. The receiver box is too small for my Futaba receiver. I cannot understand why they not designed this box a little bit bigger, to be suitable not only for Spectrum Electronics, but also for other brands. I don't think the size of this Futaba receiver is completely out of range. Anyway, I had trim at the box here, and made also a gap here for the cables. And now the receiver fits. Because of this I have here the original cable duct open. So I use a bit of black silicon to close this gap and sealing the box. As next I install the ESC with double sided tape. I do this on the other side of the chassis as mentioned in the manual. Do the better space here. And here you can see all the electronics are installed. Step H1 is the installation of the inner fenders. First the fenders in front, fixed with one screw from above. 
than the rear fenders fixed with two screws on the chassis rails. And here the fenders are installed. Step H2 is the build and installation of the engine dummy. First screw on this strut. This screw holds also the front fender. Then the front part. And then as last the top cover. Of course this dummy needs a bit of painting. But not yet. Maybe I'll do this later. Step I1 is the build of the wheels and installing them on the chassis. First insert the inner ring into the tires. Then the two outer parts. Now I can start with the screws. But I do not tighten the screws fully. I do one after one turn in a bit more to get an equal pressure around the whole tire. Then I can check the position of the tire again and when the tire sits well on the rim I can tighten the screws fully. And the wheel is finished and ready to install it on the car. First, the small spacer, then the wheel hex. And this is secured by a screw pin on the shaft. Now the wheel can be installed and fixed by this nut. And as last, this wheel hub can be installed for a more realistic look. Now the chassis is finished and ready to run. But before I can run it, I will prepare the body. This is the next and last step of this build series. Stay tuned to see this in my next video. Subscribe to my channel you haven't already. And please give me a thumbs up for this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.